okay guys welcome back to my channel this is shy and you're gonna get ready with me this morning i'm just gonna do a little quick makeup tutorial um i really don't know what i'm doing i've just been practicing and practicing and practicing over time and yeah here we go hope you enjoy so right now i'm just talking i'm just saying good morning or whatever you know um but i just did that beforehand because i didn't say my full little intro thing you know whatever so right now i'm just setting up the camera or whatever i should have fast forward this but it's whatever but the first thing i do is my eyebrows and um i take a black pencil oh well no the first thing i do is wipe my face sorry guys um I just got out of the shower, so when I'm in the shower, I wash my face, um, and then I dry with a towel, and then I use um, uh, aloe vera gel. I don't really know how to pronounce that word. I usually say aloe o when my mom told me that I was wrong. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the first thing I do is wipe my face with, face with a wake up, makeup wipe. Ugh, I can't talk. So, I wipe my face with a makeup wipe, and then um, the first thing I do as far as makeup is my eyebrows. Um, I normally just use a black eyeliner pencil, um, and I use the, um, the Magic Collection Concealer with the matte finish, extra coverage. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm kind of like filling and outlining my eyebrows with a black pencil, y'all. I do my eyebrows how I like to do them, so you may do your eyebrows your own specific way, but this is how I like to do them. My eyebrows are naturally thick, so please don't come for me in the comments saying that my eyebrows are thick in this video. Like I said, I'm a beginner, I'm just learning, and I just wanted to show you guys my progress on what I'm learning how to do. So yeah, um... Like I said, I'm just learning, so I have the mirror in front of my face, which is a bad idea. Um, so, I should be not doing that. But you see how that one eyebrow is kind of all funky, wonky? My eyebrows are naturally like that. I don't care where I go. If I get them arched, if I get them plugged, if I get them threaded, they're going to look like that. I just don't understand why my eyebrows are naturally thick and wild and crazy and bushy. I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, I take a black eyebrow pencil and I just outline them and I brush them in a little bit. Then I go for my... Um, it, I don't know what the tool is called, but it's like the little brush is what I'm looking for. It's a little brush that, um, that looks like the thing that you use for your mascara, but it's not for the mascara, it's for the eyebrows. And I will flick it out and rub it in, really, just brush it in. As you see, I can't find it. So, there you go. I just found it. So, yes, now I'm about to go um, brush it in. I normally, from the from the little, the little wing on the eyebrow, I flick it out from the inside of my eyebrow, flick it up, and then I go from the wing of my eyebrow, and I brush it up to my, the middle of my face, you know? It's like how I'm doing now in the video. I, and then I lay it down. Then I normally take, like, a... A dry makeup wipe or a dry paper towel and just like brush all that excess blackness that I just brushed out of my eyebrows so it doesn't look so dark you know it doesn't look like pink I don't like my eyebrows to look like pink so I just wipe off that excess um, that excess black residue that I just got from brushing out um, my eyebrows and now I'm going for the concealer and I have a little thin brush that maybe I'm gonna show I'm not sure oh well I don't show it but it's in the camera and I just outline my eyebrows right here you're gonna see I use way too much concealer and I'm gonna be mad about that later on when I need concealer and there's no more but I use way too much concealer but as you can see I just outline the top and then I'm gonna outline the bottom and I bring it all the way down to the side of my face so that it gives me room to you know blend it in and give me that nice little wing look you know and I'm just doing that under into my under eyebrow. 
Those are my husband's peanuts that are in the mirror. Yeah, way too much concealer. And I just bought this. I'm so mad. I'm doing the um, left eyebrow. I did really good on that one with the concealer. I didn't use too much. See, you're going to see it in a second. And then I'm going to talk about it in a second because I was mad at myself. All right, see that? I just needed to brush under that under my eyebrow a little bit more, which I'm probably about to get to right now because I'm trying to lay that down because that's so much freaking concealer. I cannot believe I use that much. And then I'm going to spread it to the other eyebrow. Shayan, what is wrong with you? Seriously. Y'all, since my Valentine's Day balloons in the back, they're still going strong. Okay, so now I'm getting my little spongy sponge. Um, you can get those from Five and Below. Literally, they come in a whole bag. But um, I am blending in all that concealer, trying to get all that excess concealer away, looking like the woo and the wee. Um, I'm going to do it on both sides. I'm just wiping up, really. Excuse my dog. She's so freaking loud. Uh, well... There's my eyebrows. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to flex my eyebrows off, y'all. They're good to me, so. <laughs> so, um, I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. I'm probably looking for my foundation because I did everything else. So, um, I'm looking for my foundation. I'm always going off camera with the world. Like, uh, but I use, come on, show it in the camera, girl. I use Fit Me, the color Warm Coconut. Um, it's in the blue brand. Um, I forget what brand that is. I know they have, uh, like, Dewy, and this is, like, Silk and Smooth or something like that. But this is the blue one. But I put it on my hands so I don't use a lot of foundation because I have sensitive skin. And the more makeup I use, it'll make my face break out. And, to, and until I find a good brand of makeup that doesn't bring my face out, then, yeah, I'm going to just use a little bit. So... I put it on my hand, and, um, yeah, I'm looking for my brush. And I just put, dab it in the um, foundation that is on my hand, and I just uh, rub it in, and I do, like, circular motions on my face, you know. I have a lot of black spots on my face, so I'm trying to, like, get full coverage, you know, because, um, yeah. I don't want anybody to see my black spots. That's the point of having no makeup, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm just rubbing in the foundation or whatever and um, making sure I hit every hot spot, every extra darker spot or whatever and get all that in. I need to be rubbing it in around my eyebrows some because that concealer need to be rubbed in a little more. <laughs> all right, so now I'm getting my beauty blenders. I got those from Burlington. They were $5, and that's not bad for three beauty blenders, you know? So, yeah, I'm getting my beauty blender, and I'm going to use the point of the beauty blender and um, get the foundation in under my eyes. I probably should use concealer right there because I have, like, dark under my eyes. And um, I've watched videos, and people put concealer under their eyelids because of that, Um reason but for right now i just use foundation to get the coverage of the get coverage over the blackness um it's not like a raccoon black but it is black under my eye and i don't know if that comes from not sleeping or stress but honey it got to be covered up so let me get that covered up and that eye was just not working with me y'all it was just not getting creased and maybe i might have put too much foundation on the beauty blender so it didn't do it right but it's always one side of the body that cooperates over the other. And have you ever heard the saying that, um, like, one side of the body is bigger than the other? It's true. Y'all should check out your body right now because it really is true. But, yeah, I'm going to use the blender, beauty blender and blend in all this foundation on my face. And <clears throat> I'm going to get back to my brush and add some more foundation in the places that I know are really hot areas that I tend to miss. 
which is on the side of my face. Like, I have, like, a dark spot on the side of my face. I don't know. I guess that's kind of like a, a birthmark, you could say. But, mm -mm. but yeah, I got that. So, yeah, I got to cover it up. Um, So, now I'm about to do highlight. I mean, contour and highlight. I got that from... um from Walmart for seven dollars. Really, it was six sixty four, but you know, Walmart having them weird prices is really just seven dollars. Okay, Walmart. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I got the light to dark, or yeah, light to dark shade or medium to light. Yeah, medium to light palette, and um, I should have probably got dark to darker. My dog is just making a lot of noise in his background, but. Her father is not home, you guys. You all know that. But watch how I mess this up. And then I'm excited myself. Bloop. Okay. First of all, you're supposed to put contour around your hairline, right? This is my first time doing contour. And um, I'm just looking at the palette because the palette tells you where to put it. And my dumb tail just forget the, the fact that I don't have a hairline. Like, baby, what is you doing? Um, my eyebrows touch my hairline, so there is no hairline. I shouldn't have put that much right there. I probably should have put a little bit, if not none at all. So, yeah. Um, and I probably should have gotten a darker shade because it ain't even no, it don't even look like I contoured at all. But, anyway. Um, I'm, I'm, I was thinking that I did something in that video. I mean, while I was recording this, I was thinking that I did something. But, anyway, yeah. I watched the video before this and, um... They were telling me how to blend it up, you know. Um, so I've been doing that, and that's what I'm doing now. Just blending it up, and I'm trying to fix that mess that's over there by that eyebrow from all that dig on contour. But other than that, that's all you do with contour. You just blend it up. Again, excuse the mess from my dog. I mean, the noise from my dog. And um, then they have the illuminator like a highlighter i guess is what it is and um just watch what i do with this i just it says put it in between the nose that's what i did and look i'm looking like right off the red nose ring there but it's okay y'all i'm gonna fix it boo i'm gonna fix it don't worry and um yep on the cheekbones i should have did the little face y'all know the little face that they do and I think I'm done with that. But I take the same brush that I used for the, the contour and I just blend it up. Let me see what I did. I just blend it up. Yeah, I got to really fix that forehead. Because I, I got a deep forehead, y'all. I mean, a deep crease in my head. Like, when my eyes and forehead meet, it's, it's real deep. Oh, okay. I thought I was doing something. Because I've never done, like, a highlight before. Oh, that was cute a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do the other side. Let's see how the other side turned out to look. Mm. Mm, okay, that ain't as good as that side. But, hmm. Well, like I said, y'all, this is good to me. Y'all might say it's something that's not good, but I think it is good. I think I did a good job. So, yeah, I'm just checking to see if you can see it in the light. Because I figured out how to give me some new light. I should have just did my brush. I don't know. <laughs> I said, just forget it. My dog. But yeah, so. That pretty much just completes my makeup. For right now. Oh, I got to add my Beauty Supply Lip Gloss. 99 cents. You can find it at your nearest Beauty Supply store. Um. And I just blot that on my lips. I'm going to smear it. Because that's just too much if you smear it. I just blot it a little bit. Then I just do the little thing on my lips. Just pop, smack them together. But yeah. That's about it for the makeup. You know. So, yeah, you know, I had to go put my little wig on, you know, my little curly Sue looking wig. And, um, yeah, that's how I got ready at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think I did pretty good. How y'all think I do? Just a little beginner's thing. This is my first um, voiceover video, and I think I did pretty good. So, 
Tell me what you think down in the comments. Give me some tips and help a girl out. You know, peace.